Imagine this, open world video games generated by AI. No, we are not talking about a fancy mod or an update. We are talking about an AI that generates entire worlds, characters and game logic on its own. Meet Game Gen O, the game changer for game makers. Game Gen O is the first diffusion transformer model tailored for the generation of open world video games. This model facilitates high quality open domain generation by simulating a wide array of game engine features such as innovative characters, dynamic environments, complex actions and diverse events. Additionally, it provides interactive controllability thus allowing for the gameplay simulation. Now, the development of Game Gen O involved a comprehensive data collection and processing effort from scratch. The researchers collected and built the first open world video game dataset, and they're calling that O Game Data. They amassed extensive data from over a hundred of next generation open world games employing a proprietary data pipeline for efficient sorting, scoring, filtering, and decoupled captioning. This robust and extensive OGIM data forms the foundation of the model's training process. Now the Game Gen O undergoes two-stage training process consisting of foundation model pre-training and instruction tuning. In the first phase, the model is pre-trained on the OGAM data that has been harnessed via the text-to-video and video continuation algorithms, endowing Game Gen O with the capability for open domain video game generation. In the second phase, the pre-trained model is frozen like an LLM and they fine-tune using a trainable instruct net which enables the production of subsequent frames based on multimodal structural instructions. Now the whole training process imparts the model with the ability to generate and interactively control content. Now in summary, game gen represents a notable initial step in the realm of the open world video game generation. Now we can see a few examples of high quality game generation. We can see that the character generation, the Gerald of Rivia, Arthur Morgan, and you can see consistent characters being generated. We can see the environments which are being generated. For example, spring, summer, autumn, winter, pyramid, lavender field, sea, lake, everything has been generated pretty well. Action generation, we can see a motorcycling first person view, driving first person view, flying third person view, sailing third person, carriage third person, riding third person, walking third person, and the motorcycle third person. We can see events, for example, raining, snowing, thundering, sun rising, tornado, tsunami, sandstorming, and firing. We can see open domain generation, for example, traveler with a cloak, uh, cloak walking on Mars, magic stream airship soaring in the clouds. We can see multimodal interactive controls here and different video prompts. Now, you can see this, how it is trained. So, OGAM data for generation training. So, this is the type of data that is available in the OGAM, OGAM data. So we have the video associated and we have the instructions or the details of the video in the written format. So we have the video and the text. So using this data, it is being trained and we have a beautiful model here, which you can use to generate games of your own choice. So this is just a start. I hope you have time to read through this paper and I'm sure I'm able to make this clear with you. So. If you like this video, subscribe to my channel and I will see you next time.